in there because you never know. All right, time to get to the shift. Right. Hey, everybody. Welcome, Welcome to Shift Happens. Happens. Week number three, three six, six, six er, zero. zero. I had an instructor in Calvary Practice School. Did you have Dr. Hong? What? Dr. Hong? Did you have Dr. Hong? No. For angiology? No. Oh, angiology? Angiology. We didn't have that class. Really? It's cardi... Uh, CBT? Yes. Do you, were you on quarters or trimesters? Trimesters. We'll be with you guys in a second. Oh, so we are in quarters. No, we had CVP. We didn't have any. Who had CVP? Who taught CVP? Oh, jeez. Do you remember? Friedman's? Uh, Friedman's. That, he taught... That was Lou. He taught CVP when I had it. Maybe he taught that one. He, Can taught, we? he taught like four or five of our classes. We had, we had angiology. It was Dr. I can't, uh, see Boy Hong or something like that. And he'd go, if you know study, you fail test, you get zero. Come see me next quarter. Zero. <laughs> zero. I'll never forget that. So what he would do, we'll with you guys in a second, what he would do, this is just random, this is what happens. Yeah, yeah. What he would do is he would like make you stand up and say, Kocha, you'd have to stand up. He goes, give me pathway of cerebral artery. So you'd have to stand up and you'd have to give him the whole pathway from the brain of the cerebral artery and where it ran. He goes, oh, that zero. And he'd mark it off. That was your, that was your pop quiz. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and so, uh, oh my God, he was brutal. And he would laugh. He'd go, oh, that zero, you failed. <laughs> and then he would just go back to teach a class. And like in the middle of the class, he'd go, price. And you'd have to stand up. He goes, give me pathway of radial artery. So you'd stand up and you'd go, oh, that good, you pass. <laughs> and then he'd go back to teach a class. Oh, so yeah, anyway. one zero zero. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he'd just go, you pass. But he would like take great job. Oh, you fail, get zero. <laughs> I passed, by the way, that's why I'm sitting here. Oh, okay. Uh, so good. here we are. I wore my socks for uh, Frank Gore, but I had cape sticking out, so I don't know if the socks are showing up. Oh, and it, but it's kind of kind of weird. People probably thought my underwear was hanging out, and I was walking around like that. There was some legs, aren't they? You should have legs like that when you're my age. So anyway, I put my socks back in. So anyway, so here we are. We're sitting with um, this dude, Clay Larson, right? Yeah, that's a cool name. That's like a rodeo name. Thank right? you. Do you Thank rodeo? You. Um, I used to, yeah, yeah. Did you really? No, I was lying. Oh, you were lying. Did you see the excitement on my face? Like, Why did you say that? What? I was like, yeah. seriously? Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. So you know what Clay Walker is? Um. Yes. Really? Not really. No. I'm making that up. You're I'm good. Like, I'm good at lying, I guess. You're yeah. great at lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. Holy cow, I could say something, but yeah. it would get us in trouble. So <laughs> I'm not going to say that, but I'll say it off the air. Okay. So. Anyway. <laughs> but not really. Don't do that. Okay. okay. Come on. So, so anyway, so um, first of all, we're getting got Price over here. He's nutritional testing again. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing if this will reduce subluxation instead of create it like the other stuff we do. Well, technically it will because since foods cause subluxation um, by eating that, you mix her. Wait, you're a real chiropractor now. Now you're yep. doing it nutrition testing. Nice. So I just want nuts. So should I only eat one kind of nut? What's that? Since I'm mixing nuts, is that considered mixing? Yeah, that's really mixing. You're a mixer mixer. Because oh, if you're mixing oh, nuts with fruits, mixing. that's like a double mixer. Yep. So does that make you, double mixer make you, is that a positive? So are you straight now? Slow. I don't know. I'm sure we'll get somebody who will fill us in on that. Yep. You know who you are. Thank you very much. So, anyway. I um, think they're good enough. Yeah. So, Costco. So, um, anyway, nutritional testing, that's yeah, best. I had nutritional tested this morning. Yeah. We got a latte. Mm -hmm. It tasted good too. How'd the test come out? It was good, man. I need another one. Positive. Very positive. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, back to you. Yeah. So tell us about okay. yourself. So. Do you have a Twitter account? No. Not good. Cool. Don't get one. Okay. Why not? Um, because after this, you're gonna have a few people, a couple Jasons, not Jason Bowie, by the way, yeah. Jason, okay. but a couple Jasons that will uh, get you on Twitter. Don't accept them. And this little bald fella. I shouldn't say that. Sorry, um, this little fella on the East Coast um, who uh, will get you on Twitter, okay. and then this, this fella on the West Coast. Okay. So maybe, get it? They'll uh, follow you on Twitter. So don't get a Twitter account. That's why I get rid of mine. So, cause then they'll, and then they'll write blogs about you too. They wrote a blog about him. Oh, yeah? Remember that? Oh, jeez. On, the, on the, uh, the constipation one? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
That was good. And so, because, we check this out because Dr. Matt, we'll get to you in a second. Okay. So, because Dr. Matt had this little baby that he adjusted that was, that was constipated. It was a little boy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And then he started to poo. And so, we, we talked about it because that was exciting. A little boy that was in this morning. Oh. Oh, was it really? That's pretty cool. And, um, and so, this, this fella, like I say that, that's from Rob. You know Rob Sinnott? I do. I love Rob. Hi, Rob. I love you, man. So, um, that's Rob's favorite word, fella. When he, when he really isn't not happy with somebody, he'll call him a fella. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, this fella on the West Coast wrote this blog how it's just crazy that chiropractic help constipation. So I guess obviously he failed anatomy and neurology. So, which and is we probably, decided that we should have sent him evidence. We, should, we still might send you evidence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he could test it. So anyway, so tell us about you now that we've, after seven minutes, we've gotten um, into that. We'll never get it be long. All right. So I'm Clay. I'm from Minneapolis, and I'm about to graduate and enter this awesome profession. It's a little scary, but... Why is it scary? You know, well... I can't why it's scary, because there's very few chiropractors. And what I mean by that, there's people that have a license of the, we'll say, 60-some thousand that possess a license, Clay, but there's like, honestly, 10% that are really chiropractors. I would agree. That's terrible. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Anyway, keep going. How do, you, how do you become a good chiropractor? Well, I think one of the things you did, um, you know, hanging out with Dr. Jason Mui, yeah. who um, I met him two or three years ago at a, when I was going through getting my diplomat in philosophy. Mm -hmm. Uh, which for some chiropractors who don't know that, um, this is just weird, isn't it? That they have these books called Green Books that talk about our philosophy, what we do as chiropractors, and yep. they don't get that. Um, and uh, uh, but I met Dr. Louis. Uh, he taught. He's got his diplomat, and he taught at one of the uh, diplomat classes. And it was I, I'd heard of him, um, and when he got there, and I was like, I can't wait to meet this guy. And he's. He, have you guys ever met him? Uh -oh. He is a real, real dude, isn't he? I mean, he is. He's a real dude. He, he's a cool man. So how do you do it? I think one of one of the things you did is uh, um, hanging out with Dr. Louis. Um, here you are on a break. Um, you could do like everybody else on a break and go play on a beach or go to a bar. Um, you're doing what I did uh, when I was on a break. I, I used to work. You ever to Dr. Hoxle? I have. Uh, I had the pleasure of uh, interning with Dr. Troxel. And um, actually, I interned with him before I was even in chiropractic school. Off the air, I'll tell you that story. Um, but every summer um, of the break, I'd spend the entire day, from the minute he got there, the day he left, I was in the clinic volunteer and Very cool. annoying him. So anyway, that's how you do it. So anyway, keep right. going. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just trying to develop my hand skills and um, just seeing how I want to develop my practice. So um, I grew up on a farm. So horses and llamas and peacocks and everything in between so that was that was pretty cool in minnesota in minnesota okay. um no rodeos though okay um but i was a llama yeah his name's really? clyde yeah his name's clyde really got ate by a mountain lion oh that's sad that's I true think... story that's oh. awful i was gonna call you a liar no it not... really happened right. oh my lord it's oh, terrible wow. i'll have to talk about that off the air too so yeah so uh that's a little bit about me um how could you become a chiropractor well, I think the better question is why wouldn't I become a chiropractor? I'll give you All that. these people are walking around subluxated. Ooh. They have nerve interference. Oh, he just said subluxation. Is that okay? Well, it's great, but you know the guys I was telling you before? You know what they're going to tell you? Subluxation doesn't exist. Oh. <coughs> Idiot. It exists. It exists. <laughs> so, um, you know why they say that? Because they can't see an x-ray? Uh, they, yeah, that too. Well, no, they don't even x-ray. Oh. Wow. I can tell you, oh my lord, this is going to go long. There's one dude out there. Yeah, go see your patient. Thank you. There's right. one guy out there, I kid you not. Oh, me too. <laughs> uh, there's one guy out there that will tell you you should never x-ray right away. Um, you should only x-ray after if they if you do a thorough consultation and, and by exam. And a few adjustments. adjustments. And then six see adjustments. how they respond. Six. It's the magic six. Okay. So here's the thing, the magic six with the flying seven. Um, and then what he says, and if they, and if they don't get better, then take an extra or refer out. So okay. what is the first thing when you refer out to a medical doctor they're going to do? Take an extra. Yeah. Idiot. Not the medical doctor, but that theory. Yeah. So it's like, are you serious? So yeah. he really says that. And it's like, but they refer out, so they're going to go to the medical doctor to get an extra. So look at what's going on. I mean, I don't like guessing. Yeah. Could you mm -hmm. imagine walking into a room with your eyes closed and go, Find a chair, yeah. <laughs> and sit, and you got to do it now. Right. 
and you get six chances, and if you miss, then we'll open the eyes. <clears throat> anyway, so anyway, but you said subluxation. So, but anyway, yeah. but honestly, what? And I and I agree with you. Why should you shouldn't you be? But what what motivated you to go into chiropractic school? So I wanted to go into healthcare because um, I wanted to truly promote health. It's got a couple things on too. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah. Woo. Anyway. So um, and I wanted to do uh, obviously chiropractic was the obvious avenue for that. I wanted to be able to see as many patients as I could uh, with a degree that would allow me to do so, and so. Um, I wanted to help people live better lives. So did, had you had you been to a chiropractor? Yes. Okay. I grew up okay. chiropractic. Okay, you did. Yep. Parents too? Yes. Awesome. Yep. Which is unusual. Mm -hmm. I mean, because were your mom and dad in a chiropractic care before? Just for like maybe three years. We started going to see Chuck. But who went first, your mom and dad or you? Dad did. Okay. And then the rest of us all came okay. here not long ago. So I was just the opposite. It was mm -hmm. me and then the rest of my family was like, well, yep. if he's going to be a chiropractor, I guess we better go to chiropractors. Yeah. So, so you graduate when? When do you graduate? I graduate in December. Okay. And where are you going to go to after December? I'm going to go to the east side of the Twin Cities. So you're going to stay there in Minnesota? Yes, Good I am. There's some, I mean, I, there's some great chiropractors in Minnesota. There, there is. really is. I mean, you got yep. you, you got Jason Louie, we got you, yep. we got Jason Louie. Yep. So, um, is there any others? Well, uh, who's the, the one guy that used to work with Pennebaker? Who works at Penn Baker? Dr. Oh, Ian McNeil. He's, he's a really yep. great chiropractor. Yep. He's um, in Eden Prairie now. Yeah, well, that's where, that's where yep. Penn Baker was. Yep. That, he was an amazing chiropractor. Yeah, I never met him. Um, he was, uh, I met him when I was at Dr. Troxel. Did you ever meet Penn Baker? Mm -hmm. So, um, Scott Mizell, he's up in the Minnesota area. You know, okay. Mizell? I, I have not. He's he's another amazing. He's not in the Minneapolis area, but he's out there. Okay. Um, Daniel Hare though, he's in Waterloo, right? Iowa. Yep. Okay, those are some great guys. Yeah. So anyway, so any any end of the message here? You got what? We've been here for two, three hours, four hours. Mm -hmm. What time did you get here? Six. Holy! Did you drive down last this morning? I drove down yesterday. Oh my, why didn't you say something? What did it take you to dinner last night? Oh, I was in Lincoln with okay. another chiropractor. Okay. So okay. who were you with yesterday? I was with Aaron Cooksley. How come I know that name? He's an awesome chiropractor. Okay, I know that name. Yeah. So, so we should meet him. We should. We got because we just I get people all the time. Who do I so, go to in Lincoln? Yeah. Name? So yeah. Right, cool. So any other messages you got to go before we go? I would say get adjusted. That's pretty deep. Yeah. So pretty you know, deep. do you realize that there's some chiropractors out there that don't know what you just said? Well, they I'm, I really mean that. They're yeah. gonna go mean like adjust the TV. No, 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 no. What actually get it checked? Also? Get adjusted specifically. And just the results. So, have you noticed? I'm not gonna let you go yet. Have you noticed that a large part of our profession doesn't do the adjusting? I have noticed that. Yes. It's, does it make you sad or angry? Both. Exactly. Me too. I, I actually am leave after this. It was interesting when I went to this morning and got my latte at Scooters on 120th and mm -hmm. Blondo. Did you have? Did you drive by there? I did, but I didn't get coffee. They're adapting. Really? Yeah, I pulled through and they poured concrete at the the little window you order at, and then they poured new concrete where you get your latte. So I pulled through, and the young lady who knows me in the morning, I pulled through. I said, "Do you know what this is?" I kid you not. You know what she says? Hmm. We're adapting. I was like, "You're a chiropractor?" She's like, "No, but it's what we have to do because she says it's because something we're we're changing this. We're doing construction, so we're just adapting." Hmm. And I was like, "Spoken like a chiropractor." Yeah, so that's right. All right, we're out. We'll let you go to hang out with these guys now. We're out of here. Thank you, thank you.